Hey guys, I'm just getting ready for work and I thought I'd show you what I'm having for my my day today, what I'm going to eat. Okay, so I've got this apple here and there's the waste. That's all I have for waste. I finally learned how to cut an apple proper <laughs> and I can show you guys uh, one day. I've got all these dates that have been soaking. There's a thousand calories in dates alone. That's actually pretty high. I don't know, it might be a little too sweet. So that's one meal. I have some cucumbers cut up here, as well as some dates for another meal. And then I also have some grapes, some oranges, and one frozen block of spinach. I've never tried this spinach this way. I usually use fresh, but I don't have any today, so I'm going to give it a go. Hey guys, so I'm just heading to work now, and it's such a nice start to the day because we've just fallen back for the winter got an extra hour of sleep which I got yesterday but not today because Getty Bear was hungry at five o'clock which she thought was five and turns out it was not <laughs> so it's nice having a little bit of light back again for the drive it was pretty pitch dark in the mornings and I know it's gonna come back by the end of like December but for right now I'm enjoying it I really don't do well with dark I prefer light I prefer lots and lots of sunshine so the winters are really hard and I'm trying to keep positive but I'm having a really hard time with it like thinking about the winter that's coming because from what I understand it's gonna be just the same as last year I'm gonna have those polar vortex and really cold and just really not pleasant so anyways I'll enjoy today. Hey guys I'm at work now and I've had um, I drank from I drink from a glass in my bathroom so I drank some water there and I, I drink through the night as well because I'll get up to go to the washroom and then I'll have a glass of water so I'm, I'm drinking through the night and then I had one of these already. I'm gonna finish this one here and then I'm gonna start my breakfast. It's 7.30 so I probably won't start until 8, 8 o'clock and I'm gonna have these two apple pie in a glass. And I just wanted to mention quickly, it's actually another reason to be happy today for me because I'm able to wear my wedding ring. It's been many, many months since I've been able to wear it Although I did wear it on my birthday, I think. Um, so it has happened. <laughs> but I'm hoping that it's sort of a sign that things are starting to go the other way. Um, I do believe I've plateaued on my weight gain. I've gained 20 pounds since starting in April. And so I'm just hoping that maybe we're on the hey downward side. Okay, so I had my apple pie in a glass smoothie. It actually took me all morning. Um, I think I finished it about 11 something so and it's a little bit late getting into it anyway it took me a while so now I'm on to my next smoothie it's now almost one o'clock and I've got my two this is the um, grape orange and a little bit of spinach smoothie so I'm getting into that and then I'll see if I'm hungry later on for the dates and the cucumber Hey guys, I'm home now, and so I never did eat any of the medjool dates, so I'm only working on about 1400 calories just over for the day so far, so it's pretty light. So I'm making my supper now, and I've decided to make, let's see here, it's called Tuscan Roasted Tomato Chickpea Soup. And I should have had this ready. It's from my Low Fat Vegan Comfort Soups cookbook. This is the book here. So it's Low Fat Vegan Comfort Soups to Keep You Warm by Veronica Grace, I think. And this has just a ton of wonderful soups. So if you guys are looking for a soup cookbook that's healthy for you, it's more like McDougal style, this is the one I would recommend. So in here I've got my onions and my garlic. I've got some rosemary and some thyme and they're both dried. Would be better if I had fresh. But I'm working with dried. I'm gonna add in some vegetable broth here. I 
and then I'm just going to cook these for about five or six minutes. Okay, so that's had long enough now. I'm going to add in the chickpeas. tomatoes that I got at Whole Foods. And then the rest of the broth. So it's actually quite a super simple recipe. And the next thing you do is you blend part of the soup in your blender. I'm just going to use my immersion blender. So I'm going to just blend up about half of it. And then you simmer it or cook it for about 25 minutes. So that's it all um, half pureed. There you got little bits in there. That looks good. And I forgot a step. Um, I'm supposed to add a little bit of um, balsamic vinegar. So I'm going to use this one. This is the one that I happen to have on hand. And so you put that in and then bring it to a boil and then reduce and simmer for 15 to 20 minutes is what the recipe calls for. And it also says that you might need to do it a little less if you're using canned chickpeas, which I am. So I'll show you when it's all done. Here's the finished product. The last thing to do is to add pepper to taste and um, it does call for a little herbamere which I happen to have the salt free version of. So I'll just put a little of that in. And I'm using less than it calls for. Yeah. So that's the soup. I think it'll be quite tasty. I've also got over here some taters that I did in the microwave, some veggies, and then I'll just have a piece or two of this sprouted grains stone mill bread. So that'll be it for me today. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.